This is Jupiter today for the 15th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. Today's music is brought to you by the wind. This is the sound of the wind put through a few effects. So I hope you enjoy it. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant three. Heading west, Europa starts today transiting, going to be moving into quadrant three, heading west. Ganymede starts today in quadrant one, heading east, and Callisto starts today in quadrant two, heading west. At zero hours, 45 minutes UTC, the shadow of Europa ingresses. And at 1.32 UTC, the transit of Callisto begins. At 2 hours UTC, the transit of Europa ends. And at 3.39 UTC, the shadow of Europa egresses. By 6 hours UTC, EO has gone through its western elongation and is now in quadrant 4, heading east. And at 6 hours UTC, Callisto is transiting. I'm going to be moving into quadrant 3, heading west. At 6.17 UTC, the transit of Callisto ends. And from 8.21 to 8.26 UTC, Europa occults EO. It's a 5.4 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.249 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.434 magnitudes. And they're a good distance away from each other and from Jupiter, 89.04 arc seconds. Visibility of this event is Western North America and all of the Pacific, including Hawaii. At 9.13 UTC, the shadow of Callisto ingresses. At 9.22 UTC, Eo goes through an apogee, that's the furthest distance it is from Jupiter in this orbit. And from 9.39 to 9.45 UTC, Europa eclipses Eo. It's a 6.1 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.307 arc seconds and a fairly deep magnitude drop of 0.605 magnitudes. Good distance from Jupiter, 74.67 arc seconds, and the two moons are 31.08 arc seconds apart. By 12 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant four, heading east. Ganymede is just past its eastern elongation, moving into quadrant two, heading west, and Callisto is now out of transit. At 1359 UTC, the shadow of Callisto egresses. At 1424, Eo moves behind Jupiter. At 1732 UTC, Eo reappears from behind the shadow of Jupiter. By 18 hours UTC, Eo has successfully moved behind Jupiter and is now in quadrant one, heading east. And Europa is fairly near its western elongation, going to be moving into quadrant four, heading east. And by zero hours UTC, EO is now in quadrant one, heading east, near its eastern elongation. Europa is past its western elongation and is now firmly in quadrant four, heading east. So from 1.32 to two hours UTC, Callisto and Europa are both transiting Jupiter, so a good photographic event there. And that eclipse and occultation is a great photometric event. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the temporal and spatial connections between the four Galilean moons. So here's Eo and Europa, Eo and Ganymede, Eo and Callisto, and then Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, 
and finally Ganymede and Callisto, and then I combine all of these and get rid of the orbit lines and colorize them a little bit more to get that for today. That's a really nice shape. 24 hours of Jupiter's sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter, looking out at a longitude of zero degrees. And over a 24 hour period, Jupiter rotates a couple of times. There goes Eo into Jupiter's shadow. You won't see it pop out at this longitude. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 7.57 and the second at 17.53 UTC. There was a new image posted. And there was some new radio data taken. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, four minutes, 20.4 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 45 minutes, 32.4 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the sun today is 139.455 degrees, and that's 1.074 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, is 6.949 degrees, and that's 0.156 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 680,455,874 kilometers, and that's 1,545,401 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday, and that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 64,391.71 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,441.83 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 799,339,964 kilometers, and that's 44,862 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,869.25 kilometers per hour. And that's 3.62 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 71.56 degrees, CM2, 170.06 degrees, CM3, 88.23 degrees. Time of this recording is 0 hours 37 minutes on the 15th of March 2015. So please subscribe and thank you to those who are subscribing. Make sure to tell everyone you know about this podcast, trying to make it from an interesting number of perspectives to show off the very dynamic system that it is. So you can send your images and your comments and questions to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.